Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. What I have for you today is this Dyson DC75 canister. I'm going to take it apart and see if I can take it apart. I'm not sure if I can yet, so bear with me. If I can, this will serve as a useful way to, you know, clear it out. These things get blocked up and uh, sometimes the really only way to clean them out is to take them apart. I've done this for DC24s, DC25s, DC40s, DC07s. Check out my other videos, they'll be in my Dyson's playlist. And if you'll excuse the noise in the background, that's a spinning washing machine. You probably don't need to hear me talking for most of this video. This machine's been, or this canister has been left out in the in the uh, in the rain and the weather for a while. It's part of my spare parts, and I don't really have a use for it. And unless it's clean, I'm never going to use it. So what I might do is take it apart and clean it, or I might not, depending on what it looks like inside. To begin, press this, open the bottom. Then, I think you press this pull this down it should kind of shimmy off there it is now there's pet hair in there by the looks of things I've cleaned up I've cleaned out the majority of the dust but uh, don't need to worry about that for now there's a solid crust of this is metal gauze here which you don't normally see in these things I've seen plastic before but you had a solid crust across there that seems to have gotten wet and fallen off if that's on it this thing isn't gonna suck so that would be a start so what can I see then Using I think a T10, is it? T8, might, need, might be too small. This is a T10 Torx, I think this is a T8 Torx here. We're gonna need a smaller screwdriver. So I've got a T8 Torx bit, this might be the right size. I'll take all of these off around here. There's a few of them. So, magic, we'll get to the end. So this is screw number eight, and then maybe this will fall off. It looks like it wants to, yeah, okay. So this slides off. Be careful because of the gauze, you don't want to damage it. Does it come off the end? There it is. So you could give that a wash at this stage. There's a load of crusty, crusty dust caught on that gasket. And be careful because those gaskets aren't very strong. Right, what are we up to then? Is there more screws in here? Yeah, there's probably another eight. See you in a minute. So yeah, another eight screws and then that just pulls off. That's pretty good actually. So we've got two parts now that we can wash, and if you're going to wash these, just do it in a washing up bowl. There's nothing more to it. Just do it the way you'd wash your dishes in the house. Now, is this going to come off? It looks like it will. Okay, now there's a gasket that's come loose there. So keep that where it is. And this is the bit you want to get at. It's these little magic jets that are all made out of... Oh, okay, these ones are made out of rubber. That's interesting. So again, this is the lowest part you could get to. I think that pops out somehow, but you wouldn't need to. I think you can see it's just held in three little parts there. I think you could snap this out, yeah. So it's that dust there that slows down the airflow in these things. If you're allergic to dust, this is a nightmare for you. So this thing over here sticking out, that's the pressure release valve. So if this is completely blocked, that will um, just override. Take that gasket off, put it on there. Right. Now, there's a load more screws in here. I'm gonna take them apart. There's another ring of screws like this in here, in here. They're all covered in dust, but they'll be easy enough to get out. At this point, you could probably just clean it out with a brush if you didn't wanna wash it and you didn't wanna go any further. But I have a feeling this separates out into a couple of layers so this bottom one will come off and then there must be another layer here because there's two sets of red gaskets so i'm gonna keep going but yeah like i say at this point you could probably just separate it just just clean it with a brush but what happens with these things is if they ever get damp the dust that's in them you can see this like it looks like well it's just household dust probably little creepy crawlies and things like that if it gets wet, it sets. As long as it stays dry, it's okay. So if it's in a damp atmosphere, it's it's uh, it's gonna set, not like cement or anything, but it's gonna be more difficult to get off. And so once once you've gotten it wet, you really your only option to clean it is to do what I'm doing here and take it completely apart and give it a bath. But if you give it a bath when it's not completely apart, you won't get in here. You'll just block these things up, and that's the end of it. I wonder did somebody have to put all these little rubber nozzles on by hand? They're all just little tiny, like the same material that rubber gloves are made out of. Rubber, some kind of silicone or something like that. 
Some of these probably have to go on and put them all on by hand. I think that's it for those screws. So, yeah, okay. That's one ring. There's another gasket there. And then, right in there, there's another set of screws. And I know that my screwdriver bit won't get in there. You need a T8 on a shaft. This is a T10, that's the smallest I have on a shaft. So that's where I'm stuck. Um, if I was gonna do this, I'd clean it with a brush from now on, or I'd give this a wash out with an air jet, but you don't often have an air jet in your house. Things to watch out for are this little spring in here when you're putting it back together. But that's easy enough. And then in this bit here, there's another spring. And this is the complicated one. No, that mightn't be actually, I think this, oh no it is, right, so on the end of that spring there's a little tab, so when you're putting it to back together, there's one on the other end as well, put the spring into the slot at the back, like this, and push it down as far as you can get it to go, then rotate this in to put tension on the spring, we'll do it again, rotate this in to put tension on the spring, and then that rides in this little pocket there, and it's in tension, it's in, it's in, it's got pressure on it from below to push it up, and it's also got a tension to keep it out. So it's, 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 uh, because of the way the spring is coiled, it wants to push this blade this direction. And that's it. Um, if you were going to go at all these, you take all of these off. Those little jets and give them a wash if you wanted. I wouldn't go so far. Let's see how easy it is. Yeah, you can take off all those little rubbers and put them back on again. I'm not going to do that with this one, because I don't want to keep this, because I haven't got the vacuum cleaner for it, and I don't really need the parts. The only parts I'm going to keep are the springs. Actually, I'm only going to keep that spring, because this is just a regular compression spring. I want this spring with the little thingies on the ends of it. Everything else, I'm just going to throw away, because I don't need it. But hopefully, should there be a filter down in the middle here as well, I wonder. Pull that out. No, that's not it. No, I don't think so on this one. Sometimes there's a filter in here on DC 40, I think. You can take two screws out there to get that off, that plastic. I wonder if I can do that. That will get me get this other spring out, even though I don't really want it. I can just show you what I'm doing here. If you wanted to give it that really thorough cleaning. It's these two screws. Because there could be snots and dust stuck in there. So take out those screws. And then pull this at the front, pull it forward. Oh, it's quite tangled up there. I don't want to break it. I don't really care, but I don't want to break it. I'm not sure what that's hung up on there. Oh, we're all tangled up now. Right. I might break it. There we go. It just pops out, bizarrely. So that somehow seems to lock. That locks into this. So you have to kind of unclip this bit at the front first. Okay. Um, yeah, and if you wanted to separate this out to get in there in between everything. And again, like there is dust in there and it can be completely clogged up. You'll need to get out those screws. There's one in the center there. Can you see it? Okay. Yeah, there it is. And another one in there, and another one in there, and so on, every second space around. And that's it for the DC-75. Uh, reassembly is just the reverse, so pay attention to what you've done. Watch the video backwards, step by step. There really isn't much more to it than that. The trickiest thing I've always found is putting that spring in. And you've only found out you've done it wrong the first time, when you put it all back together and something's not working quite right. So, yeah, there you go. I wonder does this piece slide out? I think it does slide out if you push this in. There's a little piece there. If you push that in, it should slide out. Getting dog or cat hairs all over my workbench. Yeah, there it is. It slides out. You push that in, and that slides out. So that would let you get in behind that if that was dirty as well. And then down here, I should have said, these rubber gaskets, you just pull them out. They just come apart like that. That one just... You've got to pull it quite hard, but it does come out. 
see it coming off there and then just work it around like a bicycle tire get it back into the trouble but it's not impossible I've done that before on the other ones so then just to recap if you're gonna clean it clean it with like a wash it up brush and a sponge in a hot water hot soapy water and give it a rinse off let it dry completely before you put it back together especially these bits in here because well actually not before you put it back together but before you use it but in reality it's easier to make sure it's dry before you put it back together everything needs to be dry otherwise the moment you use it the dust will just stick to it this is stuck on from static but it'll stick on from uh, the moisture and it'll be locked on whereas at least with this in theory you can you can tap it and it comes off a little bit anyways there you go any questions or comments leave them below thanks for watching see you later